I fear no man. But that thing... It scares me. What's going on guys, Red Gaming here, and today we're going to be using a Marincis deck on Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. Marincis. And here they are, the water waifus themselves. So if how this deck is going to work is you're going to want to, all you need to do is summon a monster like Spring Girl or Blue Tang, and then Link can summon them into one of your one links, as in Marincis Blue Slug, or Sea Angel, and then from there you're going to keep summoning monsters to keep advancing up to the next level, so then you're going to have like Marincis Coral, uh, you want to go to maybe Mabel Rock, or Wonder Heart, or Coral Triangle, and then from there I like to use Aqua Agronaut, uh, paired up with the uh, field spell card Marincis Battle Ocean, which if you use, I want to say, yeah, if, so if we, when you link into Marincis Sea Angel, you'll actually be able to get Marincis Battle Ocean to your hand. When you put Marincis Battle uh, Ocean out in the field, and then link someone into your Marincis Aqua Agronaut, how Battle Ocean works is it will gain 600 attack for each Marincis um, Link monster you equip to it from your graveyard, and if you keep Link summoning, you'll have a bunch in your graveyard already. So, so then it gets 600 attack for each one, and it's also going to be unaffected by your opponent's card effects. Um, when you have Aqua Agronaut in the uh, extra monster zone, then your opponent also cannot attack any of your monsters besides it, and it's already going to be all beefed up because of all the uh, attack it's going to get from the uh, field spell. Uh, I also like to use trap cards like Marincis Wave, where it's basically like a, um, it's basically like an infinite impermanence, where if you can target one face-up monster and um, negate its effect, and you can use it from your hand, just like uh, infinite impermanence, which makes it awesome. I also have this trap card that you can banish one card in the field, and then after later you can also special summon a normal uh, aqua monster, so that's really helpful for the deck. Uh, sign it mining's uh, helpful to get like spring girl or blue tang to your hand. Besides that, it's just a bunch of hand traps. Um, but yeah, it's a pretty good deck. I also put in totally awesome and um, on, on our shark here, our a bow moot shark. So yeah, it's a, it's a pretty good deck. I had a lot of fun playing it. Uh, I, I'm gonna do some replays of both the uh, link uh, event and just regular. Um, online ranked duel so uh let's get right to it all right all right so for this hand we are going to first summon our Mar uh, marinsis blue tang out so we're going to summon blue tang he is going to ash it which i am a-okay with because the only effect for blue tang is you can just send one of your other marinsis monsters from your deck to the graveyard so I like to use that to bait sometimes for Ash, which he did. So he ashes that. And then we're going to go right into special summoning. We're going to special summon into, what is it? Uh, sea Angel here. Or well, Sea Angel's effect works first. And Sea Angel's the one that gives you a Marincis spell card. I grab the uh, field spell Battle Ocean. Blue Tang's effect, how Blue Tang's effect works is after it's sent to the graveyard from using it as a material for a link, you can look at the top three cards of your deck and add one Marincis card to it. So I can add another, or I can add a Spring Girl. How Spring Girl works is you can banish another um, Marincis card from your graveyard to special summon it from your hand. Then you have your Coral Enemani. I, I, I know I can't say that word, but um, so you special summon him out, or her out, excuse me. And then how um, this link monster works is you can special summon a water monster with 1,500 or less attacks to the field. So Spring Girl's back out in the field. We're going to link that into Blue Slug. Blue Slug's effect's going to work. 
and it brings back another, uh, you can target another, uh, Marinsis monster from your graveyard and add it to your hand, so. Now we're going into Coral Triangle, which is our Link 3. Which, our Coral Triangle is able to add a Trap Car, so that's how you can add your Marinsis Wave to your hand. Then, Marinsis Seahorse is allowed to special summon if you have a Marinsis Link monster, as long as it's in one of the spots that the arrows are pointing to. So next, I put out the Field Spell card, our Battle Ocean, then I linked into our Link 4, Aqua Agronaut, and then use the uh, Field Spell to um, equip three of our Link monsters to it, and it gets 600 attack each. Then, Marinsis Dive was a card I forgot to mention in the opening video, that's allowed to you can target one non-Link Marinsis monster in your graveyard and special summon it. And, or if you have Marinsis Battle Ocean on the field, which we do, you can special summon one Marinsis monster from your deck. So that's, that's also fun too, see so the options there. So then I'm just going to end my turn there. Sitting pretty good here. He's going to try to use his monster's ability. I'm basically going to use Marinsis Wave in like a uh, infinite impermanence kind of way to negate his effect. He's gonna be doing his thing here. I rinse his wave again. Negate the effect. So after this chain's gonna resolve here. He's gonna link someone again. And then he's going to go into battle phase. He's going to try to attack my seahorse, but Aqua Agronaut, like I said earlier, does not al it does not allow any of my monsters to get attacked except for itself, which is awesome. So my Marinsa Seahorse is a okay here. So another special another ability of Aqua Agronaut is you can um, banish one. It's not banish. Just return to our hand. So I can return, so basically what I did is I returned his um, Link Monster and my Marinsa Seahorse. After returning it back to my hand, I just summoned him back out of the field. I use Marinsa's Dive, special summon another monster, Link into Link 2, into our Coral again. Special summon another one, Link 3, into Marbled Rock. Use Marvel Rock special ability as you can target one Marinsis card in your graveyard except Marinsis made with rock and add it to your hand. I end up adding Spring Girl to the field. Special summon Spring Girl to the field by banishing another Marinsis monster. And then it's a free for all for his life points. Boom! Alright, so that's how the uh, Marinsis deck works. And this was in the link, um, the little link event. So uh, we're gonna do another replay for the link event real quick. All right. So we use sign it mining to give us a our spring girl to our hand. Summon spring girl, link it. And here I actually messed up. So I summon my sea angel. I use its effect again to get. Uh, our battle, f or whatever it's called, uh, the field spell to our hand. Battle Ocean. But I completely forgot that you can only special summon Rinse's Seahorse into where the arrows are pointing. And obviously I can't put it there to the extra monster zone. So I actually have to end my turn here <laughs> prematurely, which was a mess up by me. I'm going to fast forward his turn a little bit. I ash his monster. He is going to link someone to, to a lot of different things. He's got the Code Talker here. Yada yada yada. Salmon great. And he goes into Black Luster Soldier. And then he's just going to attack me. And then hit my life points a little bit. Alright, so now I'm up. 
So now we're gonna do this again. I use silent mining again. Go into blue slug. Yada yada yada. It's basically the same thing as last turn. So blue slug. Bring back seahorse to our hand. Able to summon seahorse to the field. Go back to our coral. Coral can special summon spring girl. Spring girl, excuse me. And we got coral triangle. I'm able to bring a trap card out with its effect once again. So Marinus's wave is back. Go battle mania into our agua agronaut. We're able to add Marinza's Dive. Marinza's Dive into Spring Girl, which makes me able to use Agua, Ag Aqua Agronaut's effect, where I can send two monsters back to our hand. He uses the Code Talker special ability. So, so, so this is so dumb by him. So he uses his. So all I, so I try to send the Code Talker to his hand because I can't do it for Black Lizard Soldier because you're not allowed to target him. So instead of just taking it, he tributes Blackluster Soldier, so he can't get sent back to a hand. But then I just use Marinza's Dive to negate his effects, so now he just lost both his monsters. Which was awesome. <laughs> a big mistake by my opponent here. Then, and then he just suicides. <laughs> All right, so that is the second for the link event. Now I'm gonna do a I'm gonna do a replay in just regular ranks. So let's get right to that. All right, all right, all right. So I'm gonna fast forward my first move a little, little bit. All he does, all he does for his turn is put in his, uh, Burn Mad King of the Dark World, and that's it, so. I'm gonna fast forward my first move, because you guys have seen it a lot already, so it's just the same, same, same steps. The Blue Slug. Give me my Seahorse. Add another Seahorse, you know, put Seahorse down. We're gonna link one into Sea Angel. That can give us our Battle Ocean. Put that illusion out. That coral. <clears throat> and then we're now to link three into marble rock. I'm going to die back. Then I end my turn there. Then I attack. And attack. And end my turn there. I actually. Like an idiot didn't put my face down card down I don't, or my trap card down i completely forgot to do that but you know whatever <laughs> we're just gonna forget about that i don't know what this dude's deck is by the way he's got blue eyes he's got dark world i yeah i, I don't know what his deck was oh so in one of the marble rock special abilities i can discard a marincis card and my monster is not destroyed by battle that was kind of clutch there now we're gonna go into blue tank. And we're actually gonna Xyz into our, our good old Sharky Shark here. And then he's gonna go into Totally Awesome. And then he quits, because no nobody wants to mess with Totally Awesome. <laughs> so yeah, that's just the that's the deck here. Uh leave a comment on what you think of the Marincess archetype. Uh, I, I I found it very enjoyable. Definitely a good deck to use for the uh, the link event they got going on right now, or just regular ranked duels. Um, if you like this video, please give me a like and subscribe. As always, I appreciate it, and uh, thank you for watching.